Hello and welcome to the Becker County Master Gardeners Rambling Rose. My name is Linda Prine and thank you for joining me today. I have a couple different kinds of vegetables I want to talk to you about today. One is celery. I grow quite a bit of celery. I use it in soups and in mixed vegetables and things that I can. And a lot of people don't, didn't realize, I've talked to people and they said, you can grow celery and it's like, yeah, you can. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can start the seed and, and you know, start the seedlings yourself. It would take 10 to 12 weeks. And um, if you have the facilities for it, that's great. I do not, so I buy the transplants, which is really easy. Little hard to find in greenhouses. Not every greenhouse carries them. But um, uh, the, they're a very popular vegetable um, for the healthy, conscious people. And they're absent of calories. They provide important vitamins and minerals. And um, they're really not that difficult and they're a long growing season plant. They like cool temperatures. They do require a lot of water because they're shallow rooted. And if, they're, if they lack water, what happens is the stalk becomes uh, fibrous and bitter and kind of stringy. So you want to make sure that they have an even amount of water and mulching would not be a bad idea to help hold the moisture in for them also. Um, the celery from the garden is much stronger tasting and usually the ones on the outside are a lot stronger. The ones in the middle are more like what you buy in the store, kind of a, a more tender. And there's different ways that you can um, blanch them. Blanching means to take the whole stalk, pull it up, and you can take a twine string, wrap that around so it'll help hold the inside so the inside stays nice. Or you can take like a cardboard like from a milk carton or something, put that around, make sure that the, the green sticks out the top so it's still getting sunlight and things. And you want to do that about two weeks before, a week, week and a half to two weeks before you're going to um, harvest it. And from past experience, I have cut it off, just cut the whole thing off, and it has grown again. So it does make a second crop. And so, and it does resist quite a bit of uh, frost. So that's another thing too that you don't have to worry about, like if you have to cover, if you have to go pick everything because it's going to freeze that night or something. Um, celery does not. Um, it survives late frost. <clears throat> and then, you know how garden, gardeners like to look for a different vegetable as a challenge to their gardening skills? Well, um, I kind of ran across this one. It was a surprise for me actually. And as I was planting, my husband was helping me plant these, I said, you know, this doesn't really look like the rest of the celery. Kind of looks like celery, but not. And when I read the tag, it said it was called celeric. C-E-L-E-R-I-A-C. -E and I'm like, huh, that's a different variety. Well, when I dug out the little tag, you know, sometimes they have the cutesy little picture um, it says it's a flavorful root vegetable, great in salads, soups, and stews. And I'm like, <clears throat> okay, here's my, here's my challenge. So this is my first year. So I definitely, I right away got, <clears throat> got on the internet to figure out uh, what it was all about. And it says it's easy but rarely grown. It's celery flavored, great for soups and salads. And it says when the base of the plant begins to expand, expand into like a turnip-like root, you're supposed to cover it with soil, and, and that would be called blanching is what they call that, and that will keep it white and tender and sweet. And <clears throat> it also requires lots of water like the rest of the celery, so good thing I have it all in the same place for when I water. And it says harvest when the stem is three to four inches wide. And actually it's like a parsnip or a rutabaggy that it will sweeten after we have a light frost. So, there I go. Here I have another challenge in my garden, but that's what gardening is all about, isn't it? Well, I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a great gardening season, and thank you again. And if you have any questions for the Master Gardeners, you may call them at the Becker County Extension Office at 846-7328. Thank you.